level one. We're back here again doing another bond order example. Today we're going to look at the formic acid versus the formate ion. Formic acid is the same as the methanoic acid, and formate is the same thing as the methanoate ion. So what we're going to do is to really look at the differences between these two structures and see if the difference will make a difference in bond order and also the strengths of the bond. All right, so to begin with this, I, don't, I want to quickly remind you about the bond order formula because we're going to use it at one point. And the bond order formula is the number of bonds over number of domains. And I'm sure by now you, this will stuck in the brain because I've been doing this over and over. All right, so let's look at the difference here. The big difference between these, these uh, two structures is really that the formic acid has the H, right? And there's no H right here, so therefore there's a charge. Now, when formate ion is protonated, which means addition of an hydrogen, because an hydrogen is really a proton. And so adding proton to the formate ion will give a formic acid. Now, will this addition of hydrogen make a difference? And so let's find out based on the bond order. But first, let's point out something real quick. In the formic acid, there are three different bonds. When I say three different bonds, I mean one is a C CH bond, one is a CO bond, and one is a COH bond. So they are different. However, we can look at each individual bond and state the bond order. So, for example, the bond between C and H has a bond order of one because it's a single bond. The bond order between C and O is a double bond. So here the bond order is two. The bond between C and OH is a single bond. So therefore the bond order is one. Now going over the format iron now, you're going to realize now that we have three bonds but there are two types of bond. So here we have a CH bond and we also have CO bonds. So we have two different CO bonds. All right, but it's still CO bonds. Now, look at this structure. First, the CH bond is, is the same as the structure before, just a single bond. So it is a bond order of one. Now, the CO bonds here could be a resonance at this end because the single bond could be between any of the oxygen and the carbon. So we don't, we're not sure to say, okay, it must be at the bottom oxygen or the top oxygen. We're not sure. So it could be between any one of them. So the bond order now will give us the average bond between these two oxygen or between the two resonating structures. So first, let's consider the amount of bonds we have here. We have three bonds, and we have two domains. So one, two domains. So the bond order between C and O will be 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5. Now, what do you notice now? Because you add any of these bonds, as a matter of fact, let me just quickly tell you. Between here, the C and O, and between the C and O, is the same bond order of 1.5. Now, adding the proton or hydrogen at this oxygen, notice what happened here to the bond order. It decreases to 1. So it becomes weaker. So what we can say, adding the proton to the oxygen will make this bond become much weaker and therefore much longer as well. All right, so that's the difference between the two structures there, if you should compare them. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I see you soon with another example of one order. Keep safe until that time.